Defining dimensions is a necessary step to fully annotate a drawing. The dimension tool allows you to add driving or driven dimensions to the drawing view. Driving dimensions define the part geometry. While driven dimensions are usually for reference and might be useful to check the specification requirements, click the dimensioning icon in the drawing toolbar or use the keyboard shortcut D. During the process of adding dimensions, snap points appear when hovering over geometry in the view. The snap points are orange. This makes it easier to select the appropriate edges or points when inserting dimensions. The dimension tool creates linear dimensions, angles, diameters, and radii dimensions with points, edges, arcs, and circles. The other options allow you to specify the exact dimension type. When using the radio dimension tool, click on a circle or an arc. It will display the radius. The keyboard shortcut is Shift R. The diameter dimension tool is similar. Click a circle or an arc to display the diameter. The keyboard shortcut is Shift D. There are several specific dimensioning tools, but the concept between them all is the same, defining a dimension between two entities such as points or edges. To adjust what a dimension is referring to, select it and drag the handles near the leaders. The blue highlight indicates what the leaders are attached to. Adjusting the dimension updates the value. You can also add notes, tolerances, change the precision, and other options by opening the dimension palette. Select the dimensions and hover over the flyout icon to open the dimension palette. Input the needed notes, symbols, or tolerance information for the specific dimension. To create hole callouts, select the hole callout tool from the drawing toolbar. Use this tool if you created the holes in the part with the hole feature and you want to specify the hole type with a callout. To add a prefix to the hole callout, right click and choose edit. Then input the needed prefix and accept the edit. Dimensions are needed in a drawing to communicate the required size and tolerance of the part to the manufacturer. 